Hey, what's going on? This is Anonymous Leo Keeper, and this is an update on all my reptiles and their cages and whatnot. All right, so here in this like cabinet kind of thing drawer is my male Bella Bino, um, October. He's a monster. He's pretty fat and he's really healthy, except for the fact that he and the other male in my tank got in a fight not too long ago. It was stupid of me to keep them together. I really thought they were getting along. But, obviously they weren't. So, yeah, he's got some scratches on his belly. And one on his back. But I've been putting Neosporin on there every night. And it, it's been healing up great. So, yeah, let me turn back on his sea light. Man, so, yeah, he has a hide. Hide. Moist hide with uh, perlite. Food dish. Water dish. And then above him, I have my um, incubator. This thing is for my leopard gecko eggs. It's just, this is basically the simplest incubator you can get. You get um, perlite, and then sand around your incubator, the actual thing the egg goes in, just to regulate the temperature easier. And then I just have a blue, I think it's a 50, 50 watt, just for regular nighttime bulb, as you use for any other uh, reptile. So here, in this 10 gallon tank, are my little juvenile leopard geckos that I picked up about a week and a half ago. So yeah, there is uh, the high yellow, Athena, if it's a girl and if it's a guy, uh, his name's gonna be Rex. And then, oh, not in here. All right, hang on, let me find the other guy. Oh, there he is, can you see me there? That's gonna be Mufasa, if it's a male, and if it's female, Sahara, and it's a tail. So yeah, they they're high, they have two hides here. They have a hide there with a hole in it, hide there with a hole in it, and then a cave type thing, calcium dish, water dish, food dish, and they have a 75 watt infrared bulb, the same as October that I showed you earlier. And then they have this moist hide up here filled with perlite, but I only throw it in there with their shed because they make a huge mess with it. Alright, over here in the 20 gallon, they're my breeder leopard geckos. They have, there's the female right there, she's pregnant. That's a avalanche, the patternless, and here's Spike in here. He's five years old, my first reptile. And yeah, so they're, they got reptile carpet. They have calcium dish, water dish with the plant, a uh, little fake plant in there so the crickets don't drown. Uh, cool, warm hide, because the heat light's right there, just turn it off. Moist hide. And then a cool hide, type log type thing, and then another calcium dish. Just so it's always available for my female. So, yeah. Alright, uh, next over here. And the 20 gallon is... Oh, and um, uh, at night, what I've been doing, just to make the temperature drop, make it feel more like winter time around here, instead of keeping this red light on 24-7, same with the juveniles here, I have these... Uh, night glow lights three of them for my three leopard geckos for night just to make the temperature drop a bit and it's much easier sleeping with the blue lights on than the red ones so yeah over here it's my red eared slider and i have his light on the timer so it's off right now but I'll flip back on there he is he's a year and a few months old it's just a basic turtle setup he's got a dock there a little leaf there filter 75 watt basking bulb and yeah there he is he's pretty big he's grown a lot since i've had him pretty massive awesome eater so yeah next over here is my bearded dragon um stubby basking spot right there is like 110 so yeah pretty high but oh well he seems to like it i think he would move if it got too hot so He's in a 40 gallon breeder, perfect for his whole life. I have sifted, shifted um, play sand as a substrate, and sometimes I feed him in here, but when I have the time, I feed him in another um, container just so he doesn't get impacted. But he's got pretty nice aim, so I'm not too worried about that, but I'd hate if that happened. So his setup's kind of cool. He's got like bridges and stuff, and just chills on. He's got, I think it's 100 watt. Heat light, basking bulb, and then he's got 
this UVB bulb, and then water dish, food dish, and another water dish. And I have my shirt in there just so he's getting used to my smell. I've had him for two months, and he's still not very tame, and he hasn't even grown that much. So, alright, thanks for watching.